So the other day I sat and I tried to think of words to describe my mom to everyone here. But words on paper do not do her justice at all. You cannot capture her personality in that way. You would honestly just have to know her. And I tried to find words to share my mom with others. And right now, that is a little too hard for me to do. So instead of talking to all of you, I will be talking directly to my mother. Mom, this feels like a bad dream. And right now, I want to wake up. I want to drive to your house to find you asleep in your chair like I did so many times before. I want to wake you up and hug you and tell you how much I love you. But I know this isn't a dream. And I know that you're not at your house. And I know how much you would hate to see Austin, Lexi, and I in so much pain. Everything you did, you did for us. And I know being a single mom wasn't easy. And I know working 80 hours was never ideal. But at the end of the day, you still came home. You still made us dinner. You still took care of us. You did what needed to be done to make sure that we were taken care of. And I'm sorry we didn't always see that. I'm sorry that at times we were selfish. You are and have always been our biggest hero. And now the entire world knows that. They know that you were an amazing deputy who loved your job almost more than anything else in this world. They know that you were an amazing friend who would give the shirt off of your back or the last dollar in your wallet to anybody who needed it. You were the mother hen that looked after anybody you could. The people in your office, the people in the courthouse, even the inmates, you treated everybody the same. Mom, you were the goofiest, silliest, most fun-loving woman I have ever known. And you have sacrificed so much of your time for others. And in the end, you sacrificed... You, you made the greatest sacrifice that anyone could ever make, and you did it proudly. I know you're up there and you're looking down on us and you're smiling, but mom, you have prepared us. You have instilled your strength in your three kids. And we will do our best to make you proud and to spread your warmth and generosity and to honor your memory. We miss you. Your family misses you. Your brothers and sisters in blue miss you. Fly high, Mama. I'll be seeing you. Thank you, guys. And thank you all who came to help honor my mom and Patrick. <laughs>